Hello friends, in today's lab, we are going to see how to enable access based enumeration in Windows Server 2016. So for this demonstration purpose, I created one OU name Research Team and I have a two user named Jotave and Ken Anderson. Both users are the part of our group's research users. If you see in a member tab, you can see Jotave and Ken Anderson is a member of our research users group. Click on OK. Let's create one share folder by using the Solve Manager console. Let's click on all task, click on new share. So for this demonstration, I'm going to use SMB share quick profile to create a share folder. Then click on next. Now here, let's specify the custom path of the share folder. On a C drive, already I created one folder name research data. Select the folder and the custom path of this folder will be C column slash research data. Click on next. Now this will be the share name of our folder research data. And this is the remote path to share. Lab DC01 slash research data. Click on next. Now here, right now we are not going to enable access based enumeration. That's why I'm not going to select this box. Just click on next. And let's specify the customized permission. As you can see, at the sharing level, everyone have a full control. And we are going to set NTFS permission on our folder. First of all, I'm going to disable the inheritance. And then select convert inherited permission into explicit permission on this object because we want to remove these two entry for all users from work folder and we want to add a custom entry select principal and let's add our group research users click on ok and give them allow permission but that will be applies only on this folder now on this folder we want to give them a permission to create folders and append data so they are able to traverse the folder list or read data and they are also able to create a folders on a folder research data. Click on OK. Click on Apply. Click on Apply. Click on Next. Click on Create to create a share folder. And as you can see, the share was successfully created. Click on Close to close this console. So right now we have a one share folder for our user research data. For this demonstration purpose, I already have a one Windows 10 computer. And uh, the Windows 10 computer is also part of our domain. So let's go back on our Windows 10 virtual machine. So this is the VM. On this VM, already a login as our user can understand. And this computer is a part of our domain. Let's access the share folder by using the UNC path. Lab this is row one. Here we can see the folder is there, named research data. And on research data, let's create a one uh, folder can. So this folder is created by our user can. And let's create a one text file under the folder sample file. Click on close and click on save. So remember, this folder is created by our user can. And if you see the property, click on security, you can see our user can Anderson has a full control on this folder only. And he is also creator order of this folder. That means he has a full control on all subfolders and files under this folder can. Click on OK. Click on OK. I'm going to sign out from the user, Ken Anderson, and now we will log in with our other user name Joe. Okay, and let's access the share folder. Click on this is data, and user Joe is able to see the folder which is created by our user Ken. But if we try to access the share folder, he won't. Windows cannot access this folder because you do not have a permission to access this folder click on close the simple reason behind this is of a user jotaway has no permission to access this share folder and that's why our user is not able to access this share folder now let's create a one folder and let's give a name joe and uh, under this folder let's create a one text file click on close and click on save okay so if you click on research data right now we have a uh, two folder one uh, name is Joe and second one is Ken. Now, the user Joe has no permission on this folder, but still he is able to see the folder under the share folder. So now let's enable access based enumeration. And once you enable access based enumeration, user is only able to see the folder on which they have minimum read permission. So let's go back on our server and just right click on our share folder, select properties. Click on settings and on the settings, select Enable access based enumeration. 
access by enumeration display only the files and folders that users has permission to access if a user does not have a read or equivalent permission for a folder windows hides the folder from the user's view click on apply click on ok and on a windows 10 right now our user joe is able to see the folder of our user can after enabling uh, access with enumeration once you have to sign out from our user and now let's again log in as our user joe and here we go now let's access this share folder double click on this is data and as you can see now we have only one folder named joe but if you see on a server on a c drive research data we have a two folder named joe and name can but user is able to only see the one folder the reason is simple because we enable access with enumeration on the share folder and that's why and our user is only able to see his own folder because on other folder user joe has no permission to read that so let's come back on our server and let's create another folder on our server let's give a name visible and let's set a permission right click on it and select property click on security click on add it click on add and on this folder let's add research users click on check name click on ok and give them a read and execute permission click on apply click on apply and click on ok so now on this folder name visible users from research users group they have a permission to read this folder and that's why this folder must be visible to our user named joe let's come back on our windows 10 and just uh, refresh it now as you can see we have a folder name visible and the user is able to see the folder because on this folder user has a read permission and that's why user is able to see the content of this folder so this is the way how you can enable access based enumeration in windows server 2016 active directory and that's it for this video demonstration thanks for watching this video